Good morning, children. So today I am going to take English subject for you. Okay, it is for fifth standard, and English grammar I am going to take. And in English grammar, my topic is today is what is a sentence. Okay. So before starting anything, children, just concentrate over here. I will read out few words. Tell me what it is. Is my David name? So what it is giving you? What are you understanding with this? Nothing, right? Why? Because these words are not put together. They are not giving any sense, no meaning. What do you mean by that? That is my name, David's name, or he, my friend, is best. What do you mean by this? This is nothing. So we can't call it as sentence, and they are not giving any meaning or not making any sense. Okay. So now, same thing. What I wrote is, is my David name. If you put it proper in a order, like my name is David. Now this is sounding better and this is making some sense. So this is sentence. Okay. Again, second example I gave you as he, my friend is best, which changes to when I put it in a proper order, he is my best friend. So now don't you think, children? Now this is giving a meaning, a complete sense. So that group of words which give you a complete sense of meaning is called sentence. Okay. I will read out the proper definition for a sentence. When a group of words is arranged in proper order and makes complete sense, see children, both the things are important. When the words are properly arranged, and after arranging, you should see that it is giving a complete sense, a complete meaning. Complete sense, it is called a sentence. So, what is a sentence? When the group of words are arranged properly and they give a complete sense, a complete meaning, that are called as sentence. Again, coming to the example. My name is David. Okay, and he is my best friend. Now, again, when we are making sentences, we have to follow certain rules. We have to keep few things in our mind. That I have put it out here in the points. First point is that the first word of a sentence begins with a capital letter, as you are seeing here. See, the first word is starting with the capital letter. Again here also. If you are taking certain name also, like for example, I give you that Mahatma Gandhi is called as the father of the nation. So Mahatma Gandhi, you cannot write M as small. You have to always use capital letter for the first word when you are writing a sentence. So see here when I have written here also, it is wrong. It's not giving a sense or it is not correct way. So first rule is that first word of the sentence should be should begin with capital. That's what I have written. That the first word of a sentence begins with a capital letter. Coming to the second point, the words must be written in a systematic way. That is very much important. Here I can't jumble. Now, for example, if I would have written my David name is again, that will not give the correct meaning as I have put up there in the beginning. I showed you. So they are telling that the words must be written in a systematic way so that they convey proper meaning and makes a sense. It makes a sense. So, when you are forming a sentence, it's very much important that you put all the words in a systematic way, which will give you the correct meaning. You cannot do the changes however you want. If it is not giving a complete meaning, if it is not giving a complete sense, then it is not called a sentence. So, the first rule when you are following the first word should be in capital letters. The second rule is that all the words must be put in a proper or systematic way and it should give a proper meaning and make some sense. Coming to the third rule, a full stop must be put at the end of a sentence. See children, again that is a different part when you go to the different kinds of sentences, whether you have to put a question mark, you have to put a full stop. But the very first rule of sentence is that once the sentence gets over, you have to put a full stop. It's very much important. If you don't put a full stop, it doesn't give a sense. Then you still you have something to write on it. Okay, so these three rules are very much important. I will just refresh all the three rules once again for you. The first rule is that first word of the sentence should begin with capital letter. The second rule is that you have to put all the words in a systematic way where it should give a proper meaning and a complete sense. Coming to the third rule, a full stop must be put at the end of the end of a sentence. Which you know, this was about the sentence. Now our second topic is the phrase. Okay. Now see children, I'll read out this for you. How to do it of great wealth. 
Okay. This is a group of words which is giving incomplete sense. They are not giving a complete sense or complete meaning. But yes, they, they do indicate something that I want to say something. Sometimes when we want to put our thoughts or ideas in some words, we use such kind of words. How to do it? But it's not giving the complete sense about what I am asking, uh, who is asking, just a uh, thing is asked how to do it. Okay? It is not incomplete or it is not that it is not giving sense. But that are group of words. Again, of great wealth. Again, I am telling of great wealth also gives a meaning. So such words which do not give really the complete meaning are called the phrase. Okay? So this is the difference between sentence and phrase. Okay? So such group of words which make some sense, they are making some sense. Yes, see I am asking somebody how to do it. But I am not clear about what work I am asking, about who I am asking, who is asking. Nothing is clear. But yes, of course, it is asked how to do it. It is giving some sense. Okay? So such group of words which make some sense but do not depict complete sense. It is giving only incomplete sense. Again, coming to the second example of great wealth. What is of great wealth? Yes, of course, we can use it when we are giving ideas of speaking something generally of great wealth. But it is not giving complete meaning. Both the things, both the examples are not giving complete sense. It's giving incomplete sense. So, such group of words which make some sense but do not depict complete sense are called phrases. Okay. So please, you know, don't get confused and the both the things. What is sentence and what is phrase? This is the main difference between these two. That sentences give you complete sense, complete meaning, whereas phrases give you incomplete sense and incomplete. Of course, they are trying to depict something, they are trying to tell some sense, but they are not depicting the complete sense, it's incomplete sense or incomplete meaning. So, this is the general difference between sentence and the phrase. I hope you all have understood children. So, you also try to refresh it, read some more examples on sentences and phrases, it will make it clear to you. Thank you children.